People have always been fascinated by giants. There's just something amazing and kind of terrifying about humans who are just bigger than average. In the past, people used to tell stories about huge giants who roamed the lands. Sometimes causing trouble, but sometimes being both big and friendly. But there are regular people today who could be classified as giants. From the tallest woman in the world to America's own giantess, here's 20 real life giants that exist today. <sighs> Number 20, Yao Defen. The Guinness Book of World Records said that Yao Defen was the tallest woman alive at the time of her death. She was an amazing 7 feet 8 inches tall and 346 pounds. In 2012, at the age of 40, she sadly passed away in a house that she shared with her mother in a small village in the central province of Anhui in China. A tumor on Yao's pituitary gland, which controls growth hormones, was thought to be the cause of her enormous height. The tumor, which was removed in part in 2006, is thought to have sped up Yao's growth allowing her to reach 6 feet 6 inches tall at the age of 15. After she went to a doctor following an illness, the story of this giant woman began to spread quickly. Doctors correctly diagnosed her condition, but they didn't treat her because her family didn't have the 4,000 yuan needed for surgery. And yep, communist China does not have universal free healthcare, unfortunately for Yao. However, she was the subject of a documentary on a British TV show, which helped raise money so she could get proper medical care. Two of the best doctors in the field of acromegaly agreed to help Yao. Her growth hormone was slowed down a lot by this charitable intervention, but it was still a problem and there was no way to cure her completely. When she went home to her mother and brother, she was able to walk with crutches without further help, which was a big change for her quality of life. She was also given medicines and supplements to take for six months in the hope that her condition would improve enough for her to have surgery, but sadly she would not live to see the day. It's not easy to be a hugely tall person and live in a normal sized world and life expectancy can be tragically short. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Time for the rare topic. Here's an image that's been circulating on the internet for a while now. On a beach in Colombia, this woman was photographed and people are freaking out about how she's almost twice the size of the couple next to her. Some people have suggested that the woman is normal height, but that the other two are absolutely tiny. This is a possibility, but others have claimed that her name is Senorita Strong, and she makes a living by arm wrestling the toughest guys in Colombia on this beach. And she's never lost a match. Do you think a woman could be the strongest person in the world? Or was this couple just actually very tiny? Remember to comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. And now on to the next topic. Number 19, Sandy Allen. Sandy Allen was an American woman who was at one point also named the tallest woman in the world by the Guinness World Records. She stood 7 feet 5 inches tall. Even though other women have been called taller than Allen in the past, Allen held the title of the tallest woman for the last 16 years of her life. Like Yao, her height was caused by a tumor in her pituitary gland that made it release 200 to 1,000 times more growth hormone than usual. She was raised by her grandmother, who worked as a cleaner in Shelbyville, Indiana. How are you, Sandy? We're fine, Mark. Hey, nice to see you. Eventually, she had a medical procedure to repair her pituitary gland. If this procedure hadn't been done, Alan would have kept growing and would have had more health problems related to gigantism. She forged a career in movies and was in Casanova by Fellini, the series Sideshow on TV, and also Being Different, a Canadian-American documentary. Hello Sandy Allen, a song by the New Zealand band Split Ends, was about her. It was on their 1982 album Time and Tide if you want to check it out. Allen never got married because she said she was an old-fashioned girl and wouldn't date a man who 
who was shorter than she was, which of course would rule out practically every man on Earth. She spent her last years in a retirement center in Shelbyville, Indiana, coincidentally living with Edna Parker, who at the time was the oldest living person in the world. Allen died on August 13, 2008, after suffering from a blood infection, type 2 diabetes, breathing problems, and kidney failure. Number 18. Shaquille O'Neal Shaquille O'Neal is without a doubt a giant in the NBA. On the court, he was an absolute powerhouse. His strength was enough to beat anyone in the game. But for a long time, people thought that the legendary Lakers center was taller than 7 feet. Shaq, on the other hand, has now said that all the statistics and record books are wrong. So does that mean that Shaquille O'Neal isn't 7 feet tall? Shaquille O'Neal is one of the best players the Lakers have ever had. Chicago. He was bought for a record amount of money, but he lived up to it and made history for the team. Just like Kobe Bryant. Who can forget the Shaq attack? But the NBA's website has said for years that Shaquille O'Neal is 7 feet 1 inches tall and weighs 325 pounds. Surprisingly, that's not the case. When he was asked about being compared to current NBA giants, the 15-time All-Star said something shocking. When asked about his height compared to current giants in the game, the four-time NBA champion remarked, He's pretty high up, Shaq said. First of all, I'm not 7 feet 1 inch tall. I'm 6'11". I just played as if I were 7'1 tall. And 7 feet 1 just sounded, you know, so, you know. Well, if that doesn't clear things up, I don't know what will. Do you really think that Shaquille O'Neal isn't 7 feet tall? Is it possible that after so many years, all the records are wrong? In any case, the NBA have a chance to change their numbers now because who's better to confirm it than the big man himself? Number 17. Sultan Kosin. This is Sultan Kosin, who's the tallest person in the world currently living. He was born in Turkey in 1982, and the Guinness Book of Records says that he's just a little bit shorter than 8 feet 3 inches. Wow, that's pretty insane. His huge height is caused by a condition called acromegaly. This condition was also caused by a tumor in his pituitary gland, which changes how the gland works and makes it release more growth hormone like we've seen before. Most people are born with a kind of limiter that kicks in when the body realizes it's grown enough. But Kosin's limiter was turned off, which is why he's so big. Sultan was born in the city of Mardin to Kurdish parents. He's well known in his home country. He also holds the records for having the biggest hands and the second biggest feet on Earth. Doctors think that he would be even taller, but health problems like scoliosis have caused him to be a little shorter. Life is hard for somebody who's as big as Sultan, but at least he has many fans in his homeland to support him. Number 16. Rumesa Galgi Rumesa Galgi from Turkey is already famous. She used to be the tallest living teenager, a fact that was confirmed in 2014. Then following that, she broke the record for the tallest woman alive. The last time she was measured, she was found to be 215 centimeters, or 7 feet almost 1 inch tall. And her fame has reached dizzying heights all over the world. Rumesa is so tall because she has something called Weaver Syndrome. This rare genetic condition, which is often passed down from parent to child, speeds up growth and makes bones grow much faster. This condition can cause several related problems, like limited movement in the joints, such as elbows and ankles, instability when walking, and sometimes trouble swallowing or breathing. Rumesa uses a wheelchair most of the time because of her height and health. For short periods, she can, however, move safely with a walker. Rumesa likes to swim and spend time with her family and siblings when she's not traveling or being an advocate for body positivity. Her parents and siblings are all about regular height, and no one else in her family has shown signs of Weaver syndrome. She's become an advocate for positivity, diversity, and understanding ever since she broke her first record. She uses her rare medical condition to teach others about her experience. Getting several record titles was part of her journey and it helped her follow her dreams. Number 15. Margot Didek. 
Margot Dydek was a Polish basketball player who played in the pros. She was known for being the tallest professional female basketball player in the world. She was 7 feet 2 inches tall and she played center for several WNBA teams and coached the Northside Wizards of the Queensland Basketball League. Dydek went to the United States for the first time in May of 1998 when she went to the WNBA pre-draft camp. The Utah Stars picked Dydek with the first pick in the 1998 WNBA draft. During the 2005 WNBA draft, which took place on April 16th of 2005, the San Antonio Silver Stars traded Dydek to the Connecticut Sun for the Sun's latest round pick, Katie Feenstra from Liberty University. Dydek joined the Los Angeles Sparks on June 3rd of 2008 after taking a break from basketball while she was pregnant. In April of that year, she gave birth to her son David. On May 19th, 2011, Dydek collapsed at her home in Brisbane because her heart stopped beating. At the time, she was expecting her third child. She was taken by ambulance to the hospital where she was put into an induced coma. She'd been coaching in the Queensland Basketball League for the Northside Wizards. She never woke up again, and sadly she died eight days later on May 27th of 2011. Number 14. Leonid Stadnik. Leonid Ivanovich Stadnik was another person who was famous for how tall he was. Guinness World Records announced that he was the tallest living man in the world at one point, but there was a lot of controversy about the claim. So then Craig Glenday, the editor-in-chief of Guinness World Records, backtracked and on August 20th of 2008 said that the title of world's tallest man had been given back to Bao Jishun of China. This was because Stadnik had refused to be measured according to new rules, which said that he had to be measured independently by Guinness World Record judges. Stadnik was champion for a few months, but he refused to be measured, so he wasn't given GWR recognition. Only the Ukrainian Book of Records says that he's 8 foot 4 inches tall, and the doctor who Guinness said confirmed Stadnik's height had denied ever measuring him. So it seems nobody knows how tall this guy really is. When Stadnik was 12, he had surgery on his brain, which caused him to grow too much. He was a licensed veterinarian and veterinary surgeon who lived with his mother in the Ukrainian village of Poldolyansi until he died in 2014. Number 13. Matthew McGrory Matthew McGrory was an American actor who was famous for how tall he was. He held the Guinness World Records for the tallest actor, the biggest feet, and the longest toe. McGrory was born in Pennsylvania, and his unusual height made him stand out from a very early age. At the beginning of his career in entertainment, he was on both The Howard Stern Show and Oprah Winfrey's show. Matthew McRory worked as a bouncer for a while at a bar in Westchester where he grew up. There he met the rest of the Viva La Bam crew including producer, writer, and director Bam Margera. After that, they became friends. In 2001, he got his first movie role in Bubble Boy, an adventure comedy by Blair Hayes. McRory played the human Sasquatch along with Jake Gyllenhaal, Susie Kurtz, and Marley Shelton. McRory's first TV role was in an episode of the sitcom Malcolm in the Middle in 2001. In the same year, he also made his movie debut in the adventure comedy Bubble Boy. He played many memorable characters such as Tall Alien in Men in Black 2, Carl the Giant in Big Fish, the Ogre in Charmed, the Giant in Carnival, and Hort Williams in Shadowbox. Sadly though, McRory died of a heart attack in August of 2005. Number 12. John Carroll he was born in the city of Buffalo, New York. In medical books, he was known as the Buffalo Giant, and only Robert Wadlow was taller than him. John Carroll started growing quickly at age 16 and kept doing it until he died. He grew 8 inches in just a single year at one point. Only 18 people in the history of modern medicine have grown taller than 8 feet, and one of them was John Carroll. He had kyphoscoliosis, which is a severe curvature of the spine in two dimensions, and acromegaliac gigantism. On October 14, 1959, when he was just 27, he stood at a height of 8 feet 1 inches. But an engineer says that if his spine had been straight, he would have been 8 feet 7.7 .7 inches tall. This is also the height on the Guinness World Records list, but his exact height isn't clear, so he's listed as disputed. By 1968, he was 7 feet 10 inches tall, but his back pain was getting worse and he began to shrink. A few months before he died, he was measured at 7 feet 8 inches. Number 11. Vicus Uppel 
Vikas Kumar Uppal, who went by the name Vicky, was the tallest man in India when he died in 2007. Vicky was born in Rotak, Haryana in 1986. By the time he was a teenager, his incredible height made him famous all over India. In 2004, he was officially measured and found to be a huge 8 feet 3 inches. He was still growing at an amazing rate at that time, and people think he was 8'10 when he died, but this hasn't actually been confirmed. A photographer for the magazine The Hindu saw him at a rally for the National Lokdal Political Party and took a picture of him. This made him famous quickly when he was only 19 years old. Because of this, he was asked to be in the Bollywood movie Rangdi Basanti. He's also known for being a healthy giant, not a pathological giant, which would mean that he grew unevenly or was deformed. However, he was only 21 years old when he was diagnosed with a brain tumor and died on the operating table. He was India's tallest man and could have grown to have been the tallest person ever. Number 10. Yao Ming Compared to people from Northern Europe and Africa, Chinese people aren't usually known for being tall, which is why there aren't really that many tall Chinese basketball players. But it turns out you can't trust generalizations, because the tallest basketball player of all time is Chinese. Many NBA fans, especially those from the early 2000s, will know him well. Yao was born in Shanghai and made a name for himself in Chinese basketball before the Houston Rockets picked him in the 2002 draft. He played for the Rockets for a long time and was very good at it. In 2011, he retired because of an injury. Mao was the tallest NBA player in his last season. At 7'6", this is a big surprise. He made it to the NBA playoffs four times, and he's the only player from outside the US to get the most votes for an all-star team. But Yao wasn't just a great basketball player, he was also a cultural phenomenon. In the early 2000s, when China started to become known as a rival superpower to the USA, he was seen as a symbol of a new China. He was a very visible Chinese athlete who was doing very well in the NBA. And not just because he's well over two meters tall. Number 9. Top 4 Julius Thor Bjornsson Strong men are common in Iceland, and Half Thor Bjornsson is no different. This giant of a man was born in 1988. He became a legend when he was the first person to win the Arnold Strongman Classic. Europe's strongest man and world's strongest man all in the same year. He became even more famous when he played Gregor the Mountain Clegane for five seasons on the HBO show Game of Thrones. He started out as a professional basketball player, which is a pretty unusual way to start a career as a strongman. But he hurt his ankle in 2008 and couldn't play basketball anymore, so he turned to strongman competitions instead. In 2010 and 2011, he won the title of Iceland's Strongest Man. Then, starting in 2014, he won Europe's Strongest Man for five years in a row, and three Arnold Strongman Classics. He won three bronze medals and three silver medals at the World's Strongest Man competition before finally competing the ultimate challenge and winning the competition in 2018. He's also the world champion deadlifter, having lifted an amazing 1,105 pounds. Number 8. The Giant from Ukraine is back. 185 kilograms at 23 years old, Pavlo Nakonechny. Pavlo Nakonechny is a professional strongman and powerlifter who's become well known in recent years, mostly because of how he can deadlift so well. The 24-year-old Ukrainian is 6'4 and weighs more than 375 pounds. He has a freakishly strong body and is expected to continue to perform at the highest level for some time to come. In powerlifting, he's won three world titles and done amazing things as a young lifter. He didn't do much by way of strongman contests until 2021, when suddenly he became famous. However, the war in Ukraine has forced him to put his plans on hold. Pavlo took some time to help people in need as a volunteer, but now he's back in the game, just like many of other Ukraine's top athletes, and he looks like he means business. Number 7. Olivier Richters Tall people are usually strong, but in bodybuilding, it actually does not always pay off to be too tall, because a low center of gravity can help with balance and building mass. Also, if you think about it, if you're very tall, you have to lift those weights further than everyone else. 
Because of this, it's hard to find very tall bodybuilders. The Dutchman Olivier Richters, who's 7'2", is thought to be the tallest bodybuilder in the world. Olivier didn't always weigh this much, though. Once upon a time, he only weighed 185 pounds. I felt like goofy, tall, slender, lanky, a bit like a walking skeleton. The way I felt about it made me quiet and shy, he said. So he started eating a ton and working out hard at the gym. At first, he ate all the wrong things and got fatter, but soon he learned what to eat and how to eat it. He eats seven times a day, taking in 6,400 calories, most of which come from protein. To stay this size, you have to eat 1,000 calories every two and a half hours. This is a constant struggle. He said that the body uses a lot of energy and needs a boost from protein, but in that time, he's almost doubled his weight. Number 6. Robert Pershing Wadlow During his life, people called him the Alton Giant, but his real name was Robert Pershing Wadlow, and he's known as the tallest person who ever lived. Wadlow was born in 1918 in the town of Alton, Illinois. He only lived until the age of 22, sadly, and during that time, he grew to be 8'11", far from being done even. Even in his final days, he continued getting taller. His condition was caused by a faulty pituitary gland, which made his body pump way more growth hormones in his body than usual, just like we hear about so many times on this list. Even though he was pretty slim, he weighed a huge 439 pounds when he died. Both of his parents were about average size, but by the time he was eight, he was taller than his father. Robert was 8'4 when he graduated, and things were already becoming difficult for him. He didn't let it stop him though, and he started studying law with his equally big brain. His legs hurt a lot, and he had to wear leg braces to help him walk. A circus offered him a good deal to work with them, so he went on tour with them wearing his everyday clothes to show that he was just a normal, smart guy. It wasn't always easy for him to find shoes that fit his size 37 feet, but a shoe company sponsored him and made him a pair from scratch. When he got tired of the circus, he went into advertising and later became a master mason in the Grand Lodge of the Order of de Malloy, which is related to the Knights Templar. He died in his sleep in 1940 because a broken leg brace cut his leg and gave him blood poisoning. His coffin was almost a thousand pounds, 11 feet long, and needed 12 people to carry it. Number five, Vaino Mylmarin. Vaino Mylmarin was a Finnish acromagaly giant who was once the tallest living person in the world. After Robert Wadlow died, he may have been the tallest living person. At age 21, he was 7 feet 4 inches tall and weighed 311 pounds. In his late 30s, he went through a second growth spurt and reached a height of 8 feet 3 inches. He was born in Helensky, Grand Duchy of Finland. He served in the Finnish Defense Forces and is thought to be the tallest soldier ever. In 1929, he was sent to a heavy artillery regiment to train as a conscript. In the 1930s, he worked as a professional wrestler and circus performer and went all over Europe. In 1939, he went back to Finland to join the Finnish army and fight in the Winter War. He moved to Jarvenpa in 1946 and started a chicken farm there. He died in Helinski in 1963 and is buried at Jarbenpa. He had the widest hand span ever known, which was a massive 11.4 inches. Number 4. Zainab Bibi In 2018, Zainab Bibi, the tallest woman in Pakistan, died at the age of 46. Zainab Bibi, who used to hold the world record for world's tallest woman in the Guinness Book of World Records, spent the last few months of her life in a hospital. Zainab Bibi became famous in 1998 when she was on a TV show. In 2003, the Guinness Book of World Records named her the tallest woman in the world. She was 7'2". Zainab said that she was struggling to make ends meet because of her diabetes and osteoporosis and because the government wasn't helping her financially. She had visited 15 countries countries, including the UK, France, Germany, and Saudi Arabia. She made money by going on stage in the United States and other countries, becoming a real celebrity for Pakistan, which makes it all the sadder that the government wouldn't help her with medical bills. Number 3. Brahim Takiola Brahim Takiola, who's from Morocco, is the second tallest living man in the world and also has the biggest feet in the world. He was born in 1982, and at age 18, his school doctor noticed that he was getting a little too big and sent him for blood tests. He had just grown more than three feet in a single year, and doctors quickly figured out that he had acromegaly. 
Then Brahim went to Paris to see a French doctor who was able to confirm that indeed it was a tumor causing this. His tumor was then successfully removed in Paris. Also, this doctor was able to treat Brahim and lower the amount of growth hormone in his blood, which made him stop growing for good. Aside from being very big, the doctor said that he was in good health. Now that Brahim has become a French citizen, he lives in a suburb of Paris and works at an amusement park. Which would be awesome, because if one of the roller coasters gets stuck at the top, Brahim can just reach up and let everyone down to safety. Number 2. Brock Brown Brock Brown is known as the world's tallest teenager. Brock's 19 years old and he's almost 7'7". He's still growing too. Since he adds 6 inches to his height every year, there's a good chance that he will become the tallest living man pretty soon. Brock is very tall because he has cerebral gigantism. By the time he started middle school, he was over 6 feet tall. It's a genetic disorder and nothing can stop him from growing. I don't know if he will ever stop, his mother said. Doctors say that even though Brock's life is hard, he's likely to live a normal lifespan. But he he does have a lot of back pain and only one kidney, so he can't take painkillers to ease the pain. He said, I just wish the doctors could do something to help my pain, which is pretty sad, the poor guy. Not only that, but his mother has back problems because picking up her son when he was a toddler was like picking up a grown man. Oh, and Brock, this isn't a medical advice channel, but if you stumble across this, I'd like to suggest that with one kidney, a way to ease your pain might be a little bit of marijuana. Number 1. Andre the Giant One of the most famous wrestlers of the 1980s and 1990s was Andre the Giant. Andre René Rossimov was born in France in 1946. From 1973 to 1991, he was one of the most popular wrestlers in the WWF. He became known as the eighth wonder of the world. During the 1980s, when he had a long-running feud with Hulk Hogan, he was one of the most important wrestlers and quickly became a fan favorite. In 1987, they were the main attraction at WrestleMania 2, and in 1988, Andre won the WWF World Heavyweight title. And Andre also had a really successful acting career. In the cult classic movie The Princess Bride, he played Fezzik the Giant. In 1974, the Guinness Book of World Records claimed that he was the highest paid wrestler in the world. One of his other nicknames was The Greatest Drunk on Earth. He once drank 119 cans of beer in 6 hours, and he drank 14 bottles of wine before his famous match at WrestleMania 3. He was only 46, unfortunately, when he died of heart failure in Paris. Would you like to live as a giant? Did you also notice that a lot of places don't have healthcare where they help out people in need? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.